How's it going guys? This week I'm making a wooden scooter. If you guys want to make this project yourself, I have free plans, cut list, shopping list, and a 3D model of this exact scooter in the description below. So if you guys want to see how to make this, stay tuned and I'll show you how. For this project, I'm going to be using two 10 inch wheels that have 5 8 inch bearings on the inside. They're both were purchased at Harbor Freight, so they're only about $6 each. They're fairly cheap and hopefully they work great for this project. Then I have some maple wood here. It's all 3 quarters of an inch thick. I have a 1 by 3 that's about 6 feet long. I have a 1 by 4 that's about 5 feet long. Now if you can get your hands on a 1 by 7 then you only need 2 feet of it. But instead I'm going to have to cut this piece in half then glue it together to make it wide enough. Then I have 2 of these 1 by 2s and they're about 10 foot long each. And then over for the hardware I have about two 5 8 inch bolts, two 5 8 inch nuts, eight 5 8 inch washers, and for half inch hardware I have one 5 inch long bolt, four washers, and one lock nut. Now if you can't get your hands on a lock nut, then you're going to need to buy two nuts and then you can tighten them together and that's pretty much going to act as a lock nut. And then I have two really small quarter inch lag bolts and these are about two inches long each. Now if you want the exact hardware, uh, shopping list, cutting guide and all that, you can download that in the description below for free. I'll have that down there and it's probably going to be a little bit more accurate than this. But I'm also going to need some 5 8 inch spacers to go on here in the wheels. But I'm not quite sure what I'm doing for that yet. So I'm going to kind of figure that out as the video goes along. But like I said, everything's going to be in the description below for free download. And then you can have all the exact plans to make the scooter yourself. The first thing I want to do is set all my hardware and my tires aside. I just have it on a table back there. And what I want to do now is focus on the woodworking portion of this project. And I'm going to basically take all my wood, head over, my, head over to my table saw, and cut all the lumber to the exact dimensions. Those will also be in the description below for download as well. For my first cut, I'm going to take my 1x4 board and I'm going to cut it roughly in half. Then I'm going to take the two halves and glue them together to get a wide enough board. Now if you can purchase a 1x7, you can skip this step and just cut it to the final dimension of 2 feet long. But I need to cut this out first. So I'm going to go ahead and since I couldn't get my hands on the correct width board that I wanted, I'm going to have to make it myself. So I'm just going to cut it in half then glue it together. So I went ahead and I cut both of these pieces. Now I can just go ahead and take some bar clamps and set them to glue together. So I'm just going to add some glue. Then I'm going to spread it with my finger a little. go ahead and let that dry for a little. So while that's glued up and drying I need to take my 1x3 and cut three pieces at 10 inches and another three at nine and a quarter. my 1 by 2 pieces. So I need to cut two pieces at 35 inches, two pieces at 32 and a half inches, one piece at 16 inches, and five pieces at four and a half inches. Then I'll be done with pretty much all my cuts.
parts cut to roughly how they're gonna be final, but I do need a few, a few small adjustments. But basically I'm gonna have this come up here and then that's gonna hold my forks in between here. And then here's the forks. Here's like the base where I put my feet. Here's where one wheel is gonna go. This will be the back wheel. And then here's where the front wheel is gonna go. So it's gonna be the front. And then the steering wheel or the forks will connect to this area over in here. So that's pretty much gives me the general idea and it looks pretty good so far. So what I wanna do now is go ahead and start finalizing a few more of these cuts and joining all the pieces together. So what I'm gonna do now is I have my 10 inch pieces right here, I have my nine and a quarter inch pieces here, and the pieces that are gonna be perpendicular to the base of the board, or to the base of the scooter, need to be your 10 inch pieces. So you want your 10 inch pieces coming up from the bottom of where I stand. So you're gonna be standing on it right here. Then you have it perpendicular, the 10 inch pieces. Then you have your nine and a quarter inch pieces. So your nine and a quarter inch pieces should be parallel with your bottom board. So what we're gonna do now is basically offset these two and a half inches each. We're gonna glue all these pieces together and then we're gonna connect them right here. So that way I get a really strong piece that can't be bent or broken. So I can attach the handlebars over here and then I can attach this piece to the bottom of the scooter. So I don't think I'm gonna clamp it. I think I'm just gonna try leaving, leaving it like this because every time I put the clamps on, when it turns it, it always shifts it out of position. So I'm just gonna leave it like this because I have it perfect. I'm just gonna see what happens. If it gets messed up, then I'll just have to redo it worse comes to worse. But um, I, think, I think it should be fine if I just leave it like this. So um, let's just try it out. So while that's drying, I went ahead and went up and marked an inch and a sixteenth on my 35 inch pieces. And these are the front forks that will hold the front tire. Then on my back pieces, I went ahead and cut a 45 degree angle, just for looks only. You don't have to, you can if you want. I think it's gonna make it look a little bit cooler. And then I went ahead and measured two and a half inches in on each of these. And then I just centered them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a 5 8 inch bolt and, or 5 8 inch drill bit and drill out these pieces. Now if you don't have a drill press, you can do it with a hand, um, hand drill. But I'm gonna use a drill press to get a um, pretty much as accurate of a hole as I possibly can. So I just got done drilling out all the holes for the axles to go and then I also went ahead and I ripped out this board to its final size. I still need to cut it lengthwise but I'll do that in part two. So this is the end of part one. If you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up. I'll have part two out next week. I was planning on doing this in one video but I realized how long it's going to be so I don't want like a 20 minute video. So hopefully this is a lot shorter doing it in two parts and I'll have part two out next week. Like, subscribe, share so everybody can see this and I'll see you guys next week.